Hello, Julia and Chantal here. Uh, we got a little longer video here today because we want to talk to you about something that we lately are a little passionate about, and that is information. We've been seeing a lot of information out there, even from professionals in our own field, that we feel might be a little bit misinformative, and we just want to talk about it. Julia, it's true. what do we want to talk about exactly? It's true. <laughs> uh, I noticed some numbers I see other things being put out. Uh, for instance, the average price uh, of what's happening this year versus different year. And everybody wants to know what is happening to prices. Well, historically, our selling season is just kind of starting now. Right. So we know we have July like through week. October, November. Uh, and this year, especially, we have seen very low inventory through January, February, March, every month for the past six months for this year, 2023. Yep. Uh, Chantal and I yeah, uh, have six, just, six months worth. Six right? months so, of low inventory. Six months. It's not just one, not just two. If you've been watching our markets in a minute, especially, you'll know yep. that we've just not quite been hitting, beating or matching or anything. Some uh, of the months are very low, yeah. extremely low for, yeah. for a number of new properties to the market. That's, January, for example, was down 50% from 2018, yeah, which is our, our best comparative, 2018, 2019, yeah. before COVID. 50% down. That's a lot. Uh, when you had, we had 101 listings in January uh, in 2018 and 50 this year. Uh, when we think about average price per average price of homes, it's very hard to compare. When you have half the number to sell, obviously you're going to have less sales overall. We're seeing a lot less sales. A lot of that is contributed to because there's less available property to sell. Uh, we want to make sure that when we're working with buyers and sellers, that we're looking at the exact neighborhoods, the exact uh, complex, um, and to see what those numbers are really doing. And as we said, we're also just kind of getting into our selling season now. This is why it's really important to use a, a professional that is paying attention to the overall market. Um, it's very easy to kind of pull some quick numbers but we're feeling like that's not giving the full picture. No, um, we, yeah. we really feel that there, like I said, are people in our profession who are just pulling some simple numbers. They're giving very broad, broad, four different, you know, towns at once in that number. And we feel like if you are looking specifically in Breckenridge at a certain price point, that's the number we should be helping you look at. Absolutely. What are the homes doing in that Absolutely. bracket? And yeah, and that's going to help. We want to help you make the best decisions and be most informed. That's what we're here to do. Absolutely. Uh, we can't yet say what's going to happen with prices for sure, how this kind of year will shake out. Uh, and we definitely know that you can't compare uh, an average year to this year when we have yeah. less properties for Not sale. Average. And who knows? <laughs> we may. It might be our new average. It might be the new norm of, you know, 50 new homes for the, on the market. But we want to watch that closely so we can help sellers and buyers make sure that we're uh, getting at fair market value uh, and selling properties in the, the best way possible uh, and marketing those to the persons that are paying attention to the prices because we know people really are paying attention to prices and we can help you with that. Yeah. Yeah. We want to help you with that. Please. Thanks Let so us help much. You. Yeah, yeah. Thanks so much. Uh, of course, please reach out with specifics about mm -hmm. any area. Uh, like we said, neighborhoods, mm -hmm. complexes, so we can really delve into what's happening there. Totally. And what might be happening uh, in the next few months. Yeah, wear your boots on the ground. Give us a call. Thanks or maybe so we'll see you in the high country soon. Yeah. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Hi there, Julia Regan. You can reach me at 970-485-0353. That's my cell phone. Email julia at juliakregan.com and Chantal. I'm Chantal, and you can reach me at 319-325-4948, or you can email me at chantalelaine at gmail.com. See you soon.